Whew, it is cold, it is so cold. I need that sun to come up. We have the moon up, but that's not providing any warmth. I forgot how cold the desert can be. Mmm, but the moon last night, wow. It was like daylight. I had to sleep with a jacket over my head. It was so bright. Oh, there's some sunlight. Look what I found. The footprints of the mythical beast called a chupacabra. I knew I heard something out here last night. You know I didn't forget this. Oh yeah. I call it desert smooth. Whenever I leave a camp spot, a beautiful one like this, I usually just kind of wave, thank you, appreciate it. I'll probably never sleep on this little plot of land again in my life. So, you know, you gotta give some respect to the tierra, madre tierra. Today I'm going to a town called San Ignacio. It's an oasis town. I've actually been here before when I rode my bike down Baja in 2010 and I'm excited to check it out again. There's an old Spanish mission, it's a cool little town, and there's some fresh water to jump in. It's an oasis. Let's do it, no crashies, no whammies, no flatties. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Baja. And you know, I'm just sitting here on my bike thinking like I always do. And I was thinking about Saturday morning cartoons and how much my week revolved around Saturdays when I was a kid. I loved cartoons. I'd wake up super early and watch as many as I could before we went and played soccer. That's a fun memory right there. So what I've noticed so far that's different from the last time I was at Baja, and I don't want to jinx myself, but the roads are sandy for sure. You can see sand, but it's not as deep and soft and silty. And I think that's because last time we followed directly behind the Baja 1000 car race in a lot of areas. And I think those cars just tore it up. And uh, we were just right behind it in the soft sand and not going anywhere. I don't think the Baja 1000 was on this route. And it's been raining a lot, so things are packed down. I know I'm gonna deal with some deeper sand later, but so far this pedaling is much easier than pretty much anything we, I had last time. I had to get off my bike. There's a sign for a little rancho here and they still have their Christmas decorations up. Check it out. I appreciate desert Christmas decorations. That's awesome. And he's not just a snowman. He's a snowman driving in a cool Barbie car type thing. The Christmas spirit is still alive out here on January 10th. going road and going about five miles an hour that's about as fast as you can go it's essentially like riding your bike in a riverbed and you're bouncing from rock to rock and just bumbling around and that tailwind I had yesterday is now a headwind things change fast in Baja yeah yeah boy Time for a bean break. Better than an energy bar, right? Whoa, sandy, sandy, sandy. Here we go. Got our first big hill here. A lot of loose rocks. Oh, goddamn. Let's see if we can get this started again. It's always hard to start mid hill. Come on, baby. It gets hard quick here. 
think I can, I think I can. Oop, maybe not. I think I can, I think I can. Damn. This probably doesn't look as hard on camera as it does in real life, but trust me, this is hard. <laughs> Come on. Woo! Holy moly. Oh. Wow. My first tough push of 2020. Oh. I'm gonna walk this section here. It's a little tough. Let's try riding. Let's see if this is even possible. <laughs> nope. Oh yeah, we're cruising. Come on, oh, come on, you got it. You got it, bud. Yeah, woo. <laughs> uh, I found the deep sand. This is the kind of stuff you walk in. I learned last time fighting through it and riding doesn't get you anywhere. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a fat bike right here, but for the most part, I like the rig that I have. Fat bikes in general are just a lot slower. You find some weird things in the desert. I found this Tweety Bird just off the side of this road. It says, con mucho cariño para ti. With lots of love for you. <laughs> like, what is this? A little sign that hangs on the outside of a house or something. I'm actually gonna set this up so the next rider that sees it gets a little love from Tweety Bird. This is some sketchy riding. Oh. Uh. Uh. Come on. Run, 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 run. Woo! Uh. Damn. So beautiful in here. So this is pretty exciting. These palm trees right behind me are date palms, and this whole area is known for for the date palms because of the, the natural water, spring water. It's an oasis, it's crazy. It's also just nice to stand here and listen to the breeze blow through the palm trees. That's a sound that I, I don't get in Boulder. It's one of those tropical sounds. When you dream of going somewhere warm, that's the sound, you're just laying on the beach listening to that all day. As hard as it might be right now, I'm not freezing my butt off in Boulder. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm gonna zoom into some dates for you. There's some of the famous dates hanging from that tree. All right. I have made it out of the date palm sand and loose rock gauntlet. I have a nice paved road into town. Wow, it's incredible that this town just pops out of nowhere. There's a beautiful old mission right there. I spent Mexican Independence Day here in 2010. There were lots of fireworks going off. Pretty cool, I've never had this type of information before, but I went 21.8 miles. I was riding for three hours and 17 minutes. My average speed was six miles an hour. Max was 19.9, uh, 1200 feet climbing and 955 descending. That's pretty cool. Last time I came here, I did not have time to go in the mission. So, I'm gonna go in here this time. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And to think this exists in the middle of the Baja Peninsula. This place totally feels like it belongs somewhere in Europe. Really well preserved. And it's so quiet. Like Baja is already like a really quiet place, but being inside of here, you just have a extra feeling of solitude. I bet on a warm, hot summer day, this would be a good place to go and escape the heat.
Check it out. It's one of those places where you come and confess your sins. So old school. I love it. I've been a good boy. Thank you. Nothing to confess. Well, I ate too many beans last night. Good thing I wasn't camping with anybody. I'm reading this here right now. This was built in 1732 to 1759. This is really interesting up here in the corners here. There's these faces and they look like indigenous faces. It might be a mix of, you know, who was here first. And then of course we have all of the, the typical things you'd see in a Christian church with Jesus and the disciples. And, but this is very curious. These little faces right here as you walk in. Right outside of the mission, there's a teeny orchard. It looks like they're growing lemons. And they've also decorated it for Christmas. What a beautiful spot. Is that a duck fart? These ducks make fart noises. There is a beautiful river in the middle of this town. Hey, farting duck, stop it. And I don't get to swim in rivers very often back home in Colorado in January, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. First plunge of 2020. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Usually I do a polar plunge on New Year's Day in Boulder and it's freezing. This isn't that cold, but it still is pretty cold. Water just rejuvenates the soul, you know? You can be having a tough day and kind of feeling out of it and water, bam, just wakes you up. <laughs> this is some deluxe camping. I have my own bench right here to look at the water. That's what I'm talking about. That's what 75 pesos gets you. All right, so here I am getting ready to set up my tent and this nice friendly feller with a Canadian accent rides up and it's this guy, how's it going? Ah, good, Ryan, how are you? <laughs> Doing great. Um, you don't have the typical rig. This is a little heavier. Hey, buddy. Who's this? Yeah, that's Mira. Yeah, this rig's about 40 pounds heavier than everyone else's bike setup. <laughs> yeah. And you're doing the Baja Divide, right? Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's yeah, amazing. it's second time actually. I did it last year with Mira. Uh, a different setup. We had a trailer, a Bob trailer then. Really? And um, this actually, the setup's better for sure. But um, no, it's, it's good fun. Like you, you, you got to adjust your days, you adjust your pace. But yeah. I mean, I just stopped at the grocery store for a, a couple of snacks and um, you know, people are stopping, they're smiling, they're, they're petting you, they, you know, they want to talk. Yeah. So, yeah, and so you good. never get lonely. No, I mean, the conversations are one-sided most <laughs> of the time. But yeah, no, that's great. That's yeah. so cool. And she yeah, doesn't yeah. mind getting bounced around all in the back? She doesn't seem to complain, yeah. <laughs> she has a good life, I think. She does have a good life. Yeah. Oh, you are so sweet. She's such yeah. a people person. Yeah. Yeah. And you started where? Yeah, well, uh, just outside of Banff, Alberta, in Canmore. How long ago? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'm in about a week, I'll be three months. Yeah. And how far are you going? A long way, I think. Yeah. <laughs> good, I love it. Yeah, I, I'll take some breaks for work. I need to fly back to Canada. In other places but um, I'll keep going south until I have to go north that's that that's awesome. what this trip is yeah dude yeah, yeah. I am so glad I met you yeah this me is, too. you're an inspiration yeah, this is no, an incredible no. story no yeah and it's funny right because uh, for those that didn't see me just show up here I've just come into this campsite to meet some other people that I met on on the on the road and um, watching YouTube like you do even when you're traveling. Uh, I'd followed Ryan's story from... Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, right. And, um, and it was great to see that happening while I was preparing my trip. Yeah. And, um, and, and I was disappointed like a lot of the viewers, you know, when you didn't finish, but you know, you could understand, right? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then excited that you were gonna complete it yeah and so I, I come in here I recognize the rack on the back of the bike uh, your hair color the helmet you can yeah. say gray you can say gray hey yeah I, gray pride I'm gray pride <laughs> baby <laughs> um, yeah and so I was like hey Ryan and the answer to it so yeah it, it's uh, 
It's uh, a bit of a small world, isn't it? I love this world of bike packers, YouTubers, all this other yeah. random stuff. How do you like the Baja divide? Do you love the Baja divide? Yeah, you do. You just like traveling by bike. How old is she? She's about two and a half now. Wow. Yeah. What a She's well sweet. traveled. She's done. This will be her second time on the divide, and uh, and she's been all around Spain and. Wow. Yeah. yeah She's tired. Yeah, she's, she's totally really tired. She's like falling asleep. She's like, you guys are boring. Stop yeah. talking, okay? Yeah. Thank you, Baja, for another beautiful day. We will see you in the morning. Buenas noches. So slippery, and I just hit the deck. <laughs> that was so fast.